Google website. They so, say, so they that's say, one of the skills is being able to know what to look for and how to look for it and how, yeah, to, exactly. how, how to integrate things, especially how to integrate things together and make sure they work okay and make sure you understand them. Uh, and uh, like tomorrow I'm going to have a person who works for me. I'm just going to teach him a few things in a uh, project that I'm, I'm having him, you know, work on uh, that's relating to sites, some client, but... Um, so in any case, the uh, you mentioned uh, you mentioned learning how to code, and I think there is also the reputation here in the UK since you mentioned college and everything. But in college, especially and when you say college, you don't mean like university, but yeah, that, that's that's yeah. the like that. So so for those who think of high school or something, uh, in high school in here, they tend to teach people not computers. They tend to teach people interfaces. Yeah, uh, like, when yeah. they say interfaces, they mean like it's kind of like teaching you uh, uh, a words, book, yeah, they words, you literature by by asking you to read a book or something, uh, and they will teach you to memorize menus to, uh, yeah, and, exactly. and they will try to defend it. Oh well, it's all very similar. You know, if you press file, you get these things, and uh, you know, it's still memorizing stuff. And uh, and there isn't enough education into the uh, not not necessarily programming. They could teach programming, but even concepts of how computer yeah. works. Even computer school, it's like computer school. It's like, oh, uh, uh, you just need an antivirus, but yeah. that's that's a load of rubbish because you know if you get if you get the. I mean, I've said this to some people online. Some people understand, others don't. You know, it really depends on the person. But and then some people will be like, like, oh, but it's better they have an antivirus than nothing at all. But you know, if you get the correct bit of if you get the correct virus on there or malware. It you know it doesn't matter if you're an antivirus or not because by the time it that antivirus has removed that virus it doesn't matter your, your computer is already powered it's already com- used by the yeah. sort of criminals or the spammers yeah actually removing the virus detecting and detection and uh, removal not quite the same thing and your computer might be uh, still uh, encumbered with something and you might have to restart from scratch and you might have, yeah exactly and you should really because it's it's really in a very unknown state it's in a very uh, yeah. it's in a state where you're not quite so certain you know and this is usually when people say I've got blue screens of death and I get all you know yeah. all yeah. this in window so uh, if if they say to you uh, my computer crashes sometimes and it freezes and if you know that they had some worm or something and even if they removed it or you just say you probably have something some issue somewhere but I don't really know what the state of your system is, and I just, just can tell them, like, just start again, you know, and reinstall everything. Yeah, or, exactly. That's and and I, I offer some help. I just say I can install Linux for you. So that's basically the help I'm willing to offer. Yeah, that's what you should do. If you get, if you have a virus, really, or, or if you've ever had a virus, or anything like that, you should just, you know, be 1% sure it's gone. You should, you should clean and install the whole operating system. And I'll tell you, or, or even better, do a proper hard disk clean and make sure that program and make sure everything's cut down to uh, you know, one, ones people, and zeros. People who don't know better, they, they don't even know better. Viruses, but but don't, they, they'll say something like, my computer is slow or my computer crashes a lot, but yeah, they'll so not say you have a virus because they don't even know how to detect these things. Yeah, a lot of people so, think, a lot so of people think uh, oh, oh, my computer's fine, I've never had a virus, but they could be getting blue screen of death, some of them, and they'll still be like, oh, but I never had the virus, and they'll think that because the antivirus never said, like, oh, you had a virus. Yes, and then they see, I, I checked in my antivirus, and it says I have no virus, therefore I have no virus, how dare you say I have a virus? And we had these discussions, and I think it's one of the earliest shows, it's it's very funny, people, the, their perception of virus is the TV has a scanner, and the scanner says we, we didn't find anything, it means therefore you have to be clean. And you have to explain them. No, no, no. It just means the base. Yeah. That no, it's actually it's even worse. It means that even when you you try to remove it, there is no way to even know where it is. It's just it's and they so don't much better pick, and they don't all pick up on the same thing either. And there's you know new viruses every day basically, and they never get yeah, variants basically changing the signature. And the signature. Uh, the, ideally, the ideally the the colleges and schools or well universities possibly even you know should teach people computer basic computer schools you like this they call like, it, I, they, at least they call, don't call it computers they call it ICT or yeah they do here the and they should ideally teach people the basics and or, or, or and the, the trick you know don't run windows as an admin all the time unless you really need to although saying that I'm actually yeah. doing it right now but, <laughs> like um, so but yeah you're supposed to be on a limited account Unless you really need admin. Uh, what what uh, do you put in the curriculum for in school? 
And uh, but I, I there was an article actually that I got onto and I um, discussed it with well some of the online bit and some other people. But anyway, yeah, I had uh, a conversation about it. You were saying you... that as part of the curriculum for GCSE yeah. in some the, which is the um, like the uh, qualification for those outside the UK. I was just quick. I just want to quickly explain what GCSE is for those uh, who are going to basically finish school. They're like the, the exams at the end went just before they're 16, well, some of them are 16, depending on when the birthday is, and like big, the big exams uh, that are done which is at the end of school. Yeah. A- and uh, so it, he. Um, it, checks, it checks how well programmed you are into a Microsoft mindset, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Damn, and they give yeah. you a mark saying this person is really compatible with Windows. <laughs> yeah. And therefore, this person is very employable. And actually, um, I, I don't know. I, I'm just I'm very cynical about it. I mean, I, I when I when I was 15, I, we we started to work in Pascal. So I would uh, I would kind of teach my well, I wouldn't teach. I was, I was just fascinated with programming since I was, I was like uh, 12, 14, or something like that. I would like do things in the, uh, in, in in script files, and then I wouldn't yeah. go into a proper programming language. They but do they do programming possibly on some of these computer courses. They do, they do programming, but but do you know what it is? Guess what it is? Uh, Visual Basic or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Visual Basic, Visual Studio, maybe .NET, so maybe maybe Asphalt, all the Microsoft stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, I did a course at college where like with my first year uh, where we did. We had a programming unit, and I, le- I was, it was supposed to, I was supposed to be learning Visual Basic, and yeah. I I looked at it and I thought this is like a what you see is what you get for like web design because you just like drag and drop and you. But in the case of oh, Visual Basic, that, that doesn't code. teach them anything though. That doesn't yeah, you teach bang them a bit of code behind the form. Yeah. And then, and then I, you explain to them integer or thirty two bits. They they don't know what you're talking about. This is one of the reasoning against even though loads of companies use Java, you shouldn't really teach people Java. That's the only thing they're gonna learn because they're not going to understand pointers and things. And they will not understand the perceptual model of how computers compose and then when you ask them to debug a piece of code, they don't have in their minds the right um, the right yeah, shall yeah. We say image of what, what they're looking at. I had the guy who's like, <laughs> and then when I was doing this course, had the guy who was going, who was like, got me into open source a bit more to begin with, you know, and the one who, he used Slackware back then, but he, he always said to me, like, I, I said, like, so what distribution should I use? And he never, he never told me, he never suggested distribution. I had to like, figure out for myself, which I think was the right thing to do, and it should be like that for most people. Um, you should do some research and pick your own distribution. So I ended up picking between Debian and Fedora. I think I went for Fedora because it basically said on the site everything's free and I must have been thinking it was in price ahead of time. But, uh, and then maybe I heard that Debian was more for servers or something, I don't know, but I with Fedora. Anyway, so, uh, but when I was going back to the course thing, uh, so I was supposed to be doing this visual basic programming unit and I was doing that, but I, but he was, kept on telling me online how rubbish visual basic was. And he was like, like the sort of the best he was like, it's sort of like a, a geek of the year. You school. could probably get it to run, I think it's called Riddle Based or something. You could run it with different <laughs> platform, but it's natural to do so. It's like it's, it's, uh, there's always somebody at, I don't know, there's a lot of, it's, it tends to be at the schools, you tend to have somebody in your year or your grade if, or I guess if it's America, you know, who was like really, really good at computers and possibly the best, and that, this guy was that, that guy. Oh, yeah, in, 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 my, in my classroom, and we were a special classroom of computer scientists, uh, the guys who were the best, well, actually, one of the guys who was the he they would do on, on Linux, basically, and Unix and stuff, and usually they would come from families or themselves, kind of like the Unix and Linux people and engineers, and um, so, so it would give you an indication of what the people who are very much yeah. into computers would use uh, by so choice. Had- so I had this guy telling me Visual Basic was rubbish, and I obviously I believed him because you know I was like 16 and and uh, he, and he, I knew he knew his stuff and he got you know he got me into some other stuff and then I ended up failing this unit and I was and then the, there was an, the hardware and software unit because my dad helped me too much but oh well and then I got the other, then I got the other four units for that particular course and I could have retucked the two I failed but I didn't bother at the time and. Uh, and then, then the kind of funny thing is, a year later, or about a year later, like 2005, I was going to apparently work for somebody my dad knew, and I was going to 
go and work for his company apparently and and start programming they were going to teach me how to program business solutions but in like yeah visual basic uh dot, and then i was going to possibly learn asp as well later on that was the but idea for those, uh, ASP, yeah. for those who don't so, know this is uh we're talking about britain here so britain is a really hardcore pro uh kind of dot net